sautéed with pancetta and chestnuts. These are sprouts like you've never tasted before. And Brussels sprouts are delicious when they're cooked perfectly, packed with texture. And the flavour is extraordinary. Take off the outer leaves, trim the bottom and cut in half. That's a big step up from the crisscross on the bottom that my mother used to do every Christmas. I'm cutting them in half, so when I sauté them, they cook evenly. And look, it's like little baby cabbages. It's so compact. Then blanch them in salted boiling water for two minutes. Now, this is the most amazing pancetta, lightly cured. Pancetta is a type of Italian bacon, which is brilliant for adding a lovely, rich, meaty flavour to dishes. I want a really nice, robust flavour to go with that earthy texture of the sprout. It's made from pork belly and is dry cured with salt and aromatics like juniper, bay leaves, nutmeg, dry thyme and garlic. As it hits the pan, that fat on top of the pancetta melts and gives the sprouts this amazing flavour. After removing the skin, cut into small chunks. If you can't get hold of pancetta, smoked streaky bacon is a good alternative. Now, hot pan, a teaspoon of olive oil, Give it a light seasoning with salt and pepper. As the larvae start to crisp up, take your sprouts out, drain them, sprouts in. Now give that a really nice little toss. Then chop up a handful of chestnuts. Now, the chestnuts sweeten the flavour of the sprout. Really important that you don't put the chestnuts in too early, otherwise they'll go mush. And then just sprinkle the chestnuts over. Lovely. So we've managed to turn a sort of plain Jane sprout into something quite delicious. You've got the texture of the smoked bacon, the sautéed sprout, and that nice crunch and sweetness of the festive chestnut. Ten seconds before they come out, lemon zest. Over. Now, that makes the sprouts and the bacon harmonise. And then just a squeeze of fresh lemon juice over the sprouts. Beautiful. This right now is the ultimate. And for me, that's a really nice, modern, 21st century approach to cooking an old-fashioned vegetable. After 10 minutes, take the turkey out of the oven and baste. Then cover the breasts with smoked streaky bacon. What I want to do is add a little bit more flavor. And basically what's happening now is that we're giving the gravy a little bit of body. Pour in the chicken stock and reduce again. In. Mm. 